Now there's another trick up your sleeve in terms of fixing things, and that's punch in and out. This is an age old technique in recording where you record over just a small part of your recorded track, you punch in and then out and then leave the rest of your track unchanged. Perfect for when you just mess up just a few words or maybe sing out a tune on just a, just a small part of an otherwise fine recording. Now we can do this in either of two ways, either manually or hands-free in an automatic way. Check it out. I have a recording on track one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Four. Obviously, it's not me, but my beautiful wife. I'm using her voice as kind of the distinction will be clear when we punch in. Okay, so let's go back to the top. I'm going to arm that track, have my microphone selected here. And what I want to do, I'll press play and then press record when I want to punch in and then again when I want to punch out. So here we go. Check it out. One, two, three, four. And let's play that back. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So you can see how a minor flaw in your recording, it's no cause for having to re-record the entire track again. Just arm the track and then just press record to punch in and then record again to punch out, leaving the rest of the track uh, untouched. So this worked fine because I had my hands free to press the record button. But what if I was re recording maybe a guitar and I had both of my hands on my guitar? It'd be pretty hard to hit that button, then play the part in, and then hit the button uh, again. Thankfully, that's where auto punch uh, comes in. You can set the points at which the record button will be quote unquote pushed and then pushed again. All done completely hands free. Let's take this same track and I'm going to punch in on the number three. We'll go back to the top and we'll move the cursor across until we get to this punch in and out section up here on the screen. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be pressing play and then I'll press the dial in on the side where I want the punch in to occur and then again where I want the punch out to occur. So here goes. One, two, three, four. Perfect. It seems to be working fine. Let's arm the first track. Go back to the top and just press play. One, two, four. You can re uh, rehearse that punch in by just pressing play. The area uh, in between the in and out points will just be muted. So you can choose to tweak those points uh, just by repeating that process again, just like we did. If all is fine, then we can actually perform this auto punch for real. To the top, we have our first track armed and we'll press record and play. One, two, three, four. And we'll stop that and go back up to the top. Now, did you notice that even though I press record and then play, the record light flashed up until the end point and then went into the record mode, then flashed again when it reached the out point. Let's play this back. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So do you see the benefits of punching in? It's really a great way of selectively just re-recording a portion of a recorded track. Why re-record the entire thing when you can just fix just a little bit that's messed up, either manually with pressing the record button with your finger or hands-free with the auto punch, just as we've seen. Now, by the way, if you're ever nervous about punching in on a track, why not make a safety copy of your file so that you can always go back to it if you make a mistake and record over uh, kind of any good stuff. Press menu, down to file. Here's our file that we have uh, selected into our first track and we can make a copy of this guy by selecting it. Moving down here to copy, you can rename it if you like. If you just want to execute it, that's fine. Now we have our original file down here and a copy. So here's the great thing about this. You can go and to work on your copy and if you screw up anything, just delete it and then just make another copy of your original and try again.